With growing military tensions in the Indo-Pacific, Australia is advancing its defense posture through robust investments in domestic missile and munitions manufacturing. Today, the Albanese government unveiled the 2024 Australian Guided Weapons and Explosive Ordnance GWEO plan, a comprehensive initiative focused on building self-sufficient defense capabilities while generating significant local employment. This bold move not only enhances Australia's military resilience, but also solidifies its position as a key defense supplier within the region. A key feature of the GWEO plan is the selection of Thales as the primary tender for a new domestic forging facility dedicated to producing 155mm M795 artillery shells. These shells, critical for artillery systems like the M777A2 used by Australia, the United States and allied nations, will be manufactured in a government-owned facility in Benalla. This project is expected to generate over 550 jobs and will produce approximately 15,000 shells per year by 2028, with a capacity to scale up to 100,000 rounds to satisfy both local and global demand. Remarkably, this facility will be the first dedicated forge outside the United States for manufacturing this type of ammunition, underscoring Australia's commitment to self-reliance in defense production. In tandem with the artillery shell forging plant, Australia is also setting up a domestic guided multiple launch rocket systems, GMLRS production facility in partnership with Lockheed Martin Australia. Expected to launch operations by 2029, this facility will have an annual production capacity of 4,000 units significantly more than Australia's own needs. Around 70 direct manufacturing jobs and several hundred supporting roles will be created as part of the facility's development. The GMLRS, a long-range precision strike weapon, will be available for Australia's allies and partners, solidifying the country's role as a pivotal player in the defence sector. Australia's broader vision of a national guided weapons and explosive ordnance enterprise is supported by a $21 billion investment over the next decade as part of the 2024 National Defense Strategy. This initiative seeks to bolster ammunition stockpiles, enhance supply chain security, and ramp up domestic production to address swiftly changing strategic landscapes. Deputy Prime Minister Richard Murleys highlighted the strategic significance of the GWEO program in providing the Australian Defense Force, ADF, with the means to both deter and respond to regional threats effectively. Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy emphasized the critical need for an autonomous, resilient industrial base. By amplifying GMLRS output and investing in artillery manufacturing, Australia positions itself not only to meet its own defense needs but also to support allied forces, strengthening its influence and reliability as a defense supplier. Conroy further highlighted the value of industrial partnerships, particularly with Lockheed Martin and Thales, as essential to achieving Australia's strategic defense objectives. Defence Minister Richard Murleys also confirmed that the GWEO plan aligns with the government's vision of a unified combat-ready ADF. This strategy, revealed in the April 2024 National Defence Strategy, calls for a more versatile defence force equipped with advanced capabilities, including a future fleet of stealth nuclear submarines under the Trilateral AUKUS partnership with the United States and the United Kingdom. This submarine initiative is expected to expand the operational range of the Australian Navy by 2,500 kilometres a critical enhancement to Australia's defensive reach and deterrence capacity. The 2024 GWEO plan marks a transformative period for Australia, elevating it as a regional defence leader with a burgeoning, independent industrial base. By expanding international partnerships and enhancing its domestic production infrastructure, Australia is strategically preparing to navigate the security challenges of the missile age within the Indo-Pacific, ensuring both national protection and stability across the region's shifting geopolitical landscape.